Good morning everybody and welcome to another Call of Duty Megablox video with me Tom from the SS Motion. So today we've got something a bit different, it's not a review of a specific set but it's a look at some of the named characters from the first wave of Call of Duty sets which hit around this time last year. So within this lineup we have Ghost, well not Ghost but one of the Ghost Soldiers from the game Call of Duty Ghosts. We have Woods from Black Ops 1 and 2, Mason from Black Ops 1 and 2, and that's Alex Mason, not David Mason, Sandman from Modern Warfare 3, and Captain John Price from Modern Warfare 1, 2 and 3. Now, as well as having these named characters, I'm also going to be showing you guys a little mod within this video using a Brick Arms M9 pistol. You might notice it on some of my figures in my previous videos, and I'm going to explain how to achieve that effect. Okay, so let's get straight into it. The first figure we have here is Ghost. Um, a Ghost, sorry. Presu presumably Ajax. He comes with an M4. And I've customised his accessories a bit to make him a bit more combat ready as the figure itself only comes with two pouches and the knife. I've given him a M9 and I've just tried to make him look even more cooler than he already was. So he's a very cool figure. I've actually posted a full review of him on the channel. If you look at that you can see what he looks like out of the box before any modifications. But yeah, he's just a very cool figure indeed. <laughs> Sorry guys, he won't stand back up. There we go. So next we have Woods from the Call of Duty Chopper Strike set. And Woods is one of my favourite characters from the game, so I've tried to make him look pretty cool. can see a pouch and a knife on his vest, a silver con concussion grenade there, an extra magazine on his belt there, a grey pouch on his back, and again an M9 pistol. Now I am tempted to order some of the new Brick Arms M1911 version 2 pistols to see if this modification would work with them, as I think that would look a bit better on the Special Operations Group soldiers since they don't really use M1911s in that time era. Uh, Woods, I have him displayed with a green AK-47. And one thing I will point out, since I've not reviewed him, is he has an awesome Special Ops Group tattoo on his arm. That makes the figure all the more better, and he's just a really cool character. One thing that should be pointed out is all the named characters are very cool in terms of the fact that they have painted legs. They're not all one colour, they actually have boots painted on. So say for example with Mason here, he has brown boots. Let's fold out Mason's gun to give you a better look at what he's equipped with. I've tried to make Mason and Woods look consistent since they're both Special Operations Group members, so they have the same sort of vest set up, the same side set up, the same pistol. Oh, his legs come off and the same pouch on the back and both of them are displayed with AKs and that's a better look at Mason's head sculpt you can see it's kind of accurate, the paintwork leaves a little to be desired but it's quite nice, I mean for the scale I don't think you could get much better a look at Woods's head sculpt for this scale they are really really cool next up we have Sandman and I have him displayed with an M4 assault rifle. Taking that off, we have a pouch, a combat knife, a painted concussion grenade, that's a really cool piece, a weapons pouch, and another M9 pistol. So that's Saman. A better look at his head sculpt. We don't really see his head in the game, so it's quite a cool helmeted head nonetheless. And one thing to note with him is, if it will focus, 
there is a skull painted on the back of his helmet and as well as that his tactical vest does have the US flag painted on it so that's Sandman and then the last figure who you'll have seen in my tank review of the Heavy Armour Outpost is Captain John Price with his M4 and all I've really done is changed him a little bit so now he has a knife and concussion grenade on his vest a pouch there a M9 handgun there and a pouch on his rear as well and he's just a very cool figure I like him a lot a close up on the head sculpt that is Captain John Price so these are most of the named figures and the only one I've not got here is Frost and I decided not to put him in the video because he's basically a standard Navy SEAL and I'll probably end up reviewing some Navy SEALs at some point in the future anyway um, in order to show you the mod I'm going to grab a different figure so we've got them as a nice backdrop so here we have the figure from the Call of Duty drone strike again slightly modified and all you do with this pistol is it's the Brick Arms M9 you can order these for about 75p on certain websites and literally all I've done is cut out the trigger there is usually a trigger here and it leaves you with a circle you press the against the tab and if you apply enough force it will fit into place and then once you've done that once it is molded so that it will fit into place every time and it just creates a very cool aesthetic you can do it on all different figures I mean I've got it done on these guys this guy here even some of the non-armoured stuff within my dome display are equipped with the handguns because they just add an extra level of detail so that's it for this video guys I thought you would like a nice little look at the named characters in one of the mods I've done uh, let me know what Call of Duty video you would like to see next I'm hoping to pick up the Jungle Troop Pack and the Desert Outpost at some point although they're not really available down in the South East yet as far as I'm aware if anyone can tell me otherwise I'd appreciate that because then I can go out and buy them and review them for you guys but apart from that this has been a Call of Duty video with me Tom from the SS Motion I hope you've enjoyed a quick look at the named characters from the Call of Duty line and until the next video guys have a great week and look forward to lots more awesome content coming very soon as the full 2014 sets start to hit shelves that's all for now guys, bye